Good morning, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Say I'm having a little pumpkin spice latte, and I hope you'll join me in the studio. Thank you for stopping by. So, as promised, I'm continuing um, my process on my farmhouse journal. This is a freebie from Daisy Journal Company. Um, I'll show you some of the pages I cut out. I have these that I cut out at 5 by 7 because I'm going to make a little um, tab journal. So um, I've got six pages here and I've got some elements for that. Then it has, um, these are cut 5 by 7 so um, there's some tabs and some tags I want to incorporate. Here's some more lovely little items. Background paper is really sweet. There's a like a purple, a green, and a brown. Uh, looks like like a, a check. And then the pages here are so sweet. Farmer's Market. The old farmhouse and a wagon wheel. A duck. A sundial. Or a... Um, I forget what you call those, windmill uh, barn, another barn, a bunny, sunflowers, it's just really cute, very eclectic, very cute, and um, there's words, and there's some coin envelopes, I started cutting a few pieces out, so here's some pockets, this is the size they are, but I'm cutting them down. So they'll fit in my book. Uh, I'm keeping these because I'll use them on something. Uh, I just started cutting out some tags and things. There's a couple coin envelopes. A couple discs here. Some tags. So yeah, there's a lot of goodness in here. And then I took, um, I took, there were two pages. There was this one and then there was one with all yellow sunflowers. So um, I cut it this way. I cut some coffee dyed paper. This was a, a misprint and I just coffee dyed over it. Actually, it was a printer setting thing. So I printed, uh, this is one and a quarter, and then I cut these at three quarters. And I cut them this way instead of going this way, like they're designed. And, oh... I don't like when this happens. But anyway, then you have a snippet, uh, not a snippet, a paper ruffle. So I'm going to try to use some of these on the side of my pages or as tabs. Just cut a short one and make a tab out of it. So I, as you can see, I was doing some prep ahead of time. So... The construct is all junk envelopes. Now those of you that know me know that I get a lot of envelopes and I try to utilize them. So here's some, um, sometimes I just make them ahead of time so they're already um, glued together at least. So here's one, it's just a tall envelope. Uh, here's a tall envelope decorated with windows pockets and um, this I need to decorate and things but it's ready it's ready to go okay to flip and I just sit and I I just put things together like this so this one I've already got ready that sounded funny let me see if I can raise this up a little bit so this is all mailing that I got in one day, junk. So it's going to open like this. Then we're going to have a flip here, a flip here. And I'm thinking of putting a um, signature here. So if I do, I'm not going to like how that looks sticking out of there. But maybe I'll like it if I put it in here. So if I have a signature and it closes like that, 
I, um, there's another one. Different size envelopes. Then I thought, I found this in Saturday's mail. And it was like this. So I thought it could go in here like this. And depending on the size of my signature, uh, you know, it can incorporate that. And this could be my um, my closure. I'll just reinforce everything and, and cover it. So I took the liberty off camera of um, assembling this. And I use my paper tape, as I do, all my seams. And the reason I do that is because this is just paper, and it's fragile. So here's a piece. This I left open because I'm thinking of um, maybe putting... something in here later. Okay. And then I will um, run some tape here. Okay, look, I ran some here. So, yeah, so all my tape is in, all my seams are taped and inked. Everything is inked, roughly inked. And then um, my process is to number my pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't do these. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen is the back. And then I cut this down so that it's... Um, Uh, eight and three quarters because then my eight and a half inch paper will fit nicely with a little border around it. Okay, so now I need to just simply um, decide on my papers and start cutting them down. So let's get all this other stuff out of the way. We're not using that right now. We're just using some background papers. We don't need this. And yeah, so I have it like that because I wanted these to flip out. Okay. Flip, flip, close, 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 close. All right, so, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So I have to decide what I want to cover where. So there's some shorter pages here. So I have to um, determine that I want... Okay, this is a piece we're covering. So we want it to go have a little rim. So maybe here and here. So this is all we're going to be doing, my friends. And this will fit in here, and we're going to cut it here. Okay, then I would put a number one on this, and then, um Number two is going to be the same size. Okay. Okay. 
Now you can just measure and then cut. But I don't mind doing it this way. Keep it straight. So I'm going to go off camera now for a little bit. And, um, number two. And start, um, start building my, my pages. So these will get their, um, corners rounded to match, um, my book because I already corner rounded everything. So then, when all is said and done, except I just did it backwards, we'll put this one there, and we'll put this one here. Okay? So, when all is said and done, they're all going to fit in here nicely. I need to get some small paper clips out. So yeah, now I'm just going to um, build. I'm not going to glue down. I'm just going to start building and seeing, making sure all the colors work. Um, and then when I have a, a piece like this, um, I try to match it, but I can't because I messed it up here. So it's not going to ma match, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to go off camera and cut some pages, and then I'll be back, and uh, we'll decorate some more. Be right back. So my crafty friends, this is what I have thus far. So I'm um, working on the cover. Uh, after I glue it, I will stitch it all down, but you open it up. And what I did was I try to use a sheet of paper and then just go across. So this goes here, and then I try to carry the pattern across as much as I can. Okay, that's what I like to do. And then it finishes the barn. And then you open um, this flip over, and this will be the inside. And this is just a tentative, um, as a reminder, this is where I'm going to put a signature. And it's not going to be a real big signature as far as thickness. It's just going to be um, just a little touch for some notes. And then here's the other envelope. And again, I carried my, my barn over, my paper over. And then, yeah. And it just repeats itself, okay? So everything has to be glued down. Uh, I'm not going to stitch this because there's too many different um, variations. But I am thinking after I glue this down, I'm going to stitch um, the closure. Uh, this will be covered to when I'm done. Uh, then I've, I'm going to take out all my um, bits and bobs that I started cutting. And then I'm going to decorate. Okay, so I think um, I'll get all my gluing down. Uh, this is the scraps that I have left over from my papers. So I'm going to um, glue. Then I, I'm going to add one of the decorations from something here. Replace this. Maybe with one of these tickets. So there's a lot of uh, things I need to cut out here and continue on. Okay. So I think I'll come back when I'm ready to, um, when everything's glued and sewed, and then maybe we can decorate together. Okay. So have a beautiful day, and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye now.